Rangers coming up right now. We're going to be reacting to this Conan remote. Now, if some of you don't know, Conan is the ginger legend, the man who doesn't give a shit. He's my favorite late night talk show host, one of my favorite comedians of all time. For me, I mean, some people think he's just weird and creepy. That's the type of shit I like. We meld together very well. This actually came out like two months ago, but I didn't watch it because I wanted to react to it, but I just forgot about reacting to it. So I basically missed the episode with this segment and remote in it. It's Conan helps his assistant buy a car. Now his assistant is Sona. She's at chatty as fuck. Like if you had an assistant like this, most people would just fire them straight away. But um, she has a certain pizzazz to her, which, uh, you know, which draws you in. It has over 8 million views and 100,000 likes. So let's get to this remote. Let's go. Connor Bryan here. Cool, huh? Is that cool? No. Connor, most Sebastian. Connor, you and I have been together how long? Over nine years. Long time. Been there during really important moments in your life. Yeah. Yeah. I'm told that you want to buy a new car. Yes. Okay. Is this a big decision? It is. I'd like to help you. Are you cool with helping you? I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Do you Legend. This is a 2007 Ford wow. Fiesta. How many miles are on this car? There are 160,000 <gasps> miles on this car. What? <laughs> you had it uh, tuned up. I got my first tune-up a week ago. I didn't know. What? I didn't know. What? My card does that. Sometimes the light will come on and then something will happen and then the light turns off. So I'm like, it must be. <laughs> <laughs> she has a positive outlook on life. <laughs> You're a terrible car. <laughs> Is that an air freshener? I suppose he's probably gonna buy her the car, so. Yeah, he's just breaking her car at this point, having fun. You dick! She called him a dick! That's a bit disgusting. He's, he, this is a new thing, him throwing. Oh, what? They're ones. Bad idea. They do. They would. It's like, oh my god. I Beatles got back together and became one person and it's kind of like, that's the kind of reaction I've been places with you. Yeah, and it gets pretty 
crazy. No. <laughs> it doesn't get crazy at all. We're gonna find a new car. But I can't go with you. Let's do it online. We can go oh. Is this an ad for auto trade? Like, I have a lot of wisdom. if this is an ad for auto trade, I do know cars. I am. Women want to be with me, men want to be on top of me. They. Women want to be with me, men want to be in me. No. They... What the fuck is that? Can you please not get a white car? What's wrong with white? You look like a thousand. A white car isn't a bad idea. I have a silver car, it's not the best. Well then you've realized your Good maths. Oh, boring. Let's go slightly out of your budget. Okay, like what? Let's look at Bugatti. Oh my god. <sighs> there we go, first one. Two mi- 2010. How much is that? It's two million dollars. No. Nope. One million. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Look at it. You know what it runs on? Liquid arrogance. <laughs> True. They make a model that only runs on rainforest wood. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, good improv part. War <laughs> 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 with Connor. Connor's improv. We'll, come back. well, I'm in a candy shop. <laughs> okay. I'm a famous detective. Nah, no, ain't no. Oh, this white one. It's the color of your car. What's the price of that one? Seventy. Wow, they mocked that up. What? Someone's making a killing. What's this person doing? He's a Hummer owner. Let's write this person in. I just checked out the Hummer you're selling and noticed that you are asking over $30,000 more than it Kelly. <laughs> Eating moron feet. I can't wait to come in to your house. I think there's a word limit. Oh. We'll just take out the last three words and then just say. <laughs> and this sounds. Yeah. <laughs> These are death wishes. Look how they're shooting into this chat. Look at that. That You know why they broke the handle, don't you? Disgust. This is a murder car. It's a murder car. It says Kelly Blue is not considered a car. I think it's a dirty car. With four wheels. Please get this car. I don't want this car. Conan's going to buy it. Oh my god, this is evil. He has to get another car, like. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring her out. So nice Oh car. no. We agreed to pay a thousand dollars and then they gave it to us for only five hundred <laughs> And now it's yours. I'm like Oprah. <laughs> Here's your new car, Sona! Uh, oh my god. 
Oh my god, please support another car. Please, please. Oh my god, it's dusty! <laughs> Oh, oh, I can just imagine the dirt in that car. It's literally dusty. The horn, the horn doesn't work. The horn doesn't work. I don't know who that is. Oh my goodness. The Get out of that car as soon as you possibly can. <laughs> they have such a good relationship, you know. I, I know that she was with Conan when he sort of went through uh, the whole show problem he had all those years ago, uh, about 10 years ago now, and she was with him on tour. I guess she'd sort of only started working for him just before that point, uh, but hey, she's she's stuck with him for a long, long time, and, and you can see the relationship they have. Like, yeah, he bickers at her and she bickers at him, but it's sort of like siblings, even though like he is way older than her. Like, it's just that it's like a sibling bickering that they just have. Um, innately between them. It's, it's hilarious. I was laughing through that even though I know I know that they were just being themselves. It, it was just funny anyway. It wasn't like they were making jokes even half the time but it was just funny. The only thing that could have made this video better is if Andy had actually bought her a proper car and then she would have been like Andy you're my guy. Conan has no money even though he has money. I want to be on Conan one day. I do. Team Coco I would, he is my guy. He really did. He helped me through a lot of uh, problems I was having. Watching him really did lighten my my day up when it was uh, bleak as fuck. I'll be honest. I had a really dark period, and this guy really did uh, help me through a lot of of things. Through, well, just being a creep. People disagree with me. They say he's not funny. I'm, well, you're wrong. He's hilarious. He's fucking hilarious. I feel like Conan is like a comedian's comedian. I don't think a lot of late night talk show hosts are particularly funny at all. Uh, most are pretty mediocre. Like they might have a personality to them. Whether that's good or bad in terms of what they do on screen is a different matter. But I think he is actually like genuinely funny and most on. It's just true. Letterman was a, a joker. Craig Ferguson was hilarious, but generally they're not funny. This guy is. And anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, my voice is cracking. I'm dying again. It's just what happens. Then Conan will buy you a car, and you don't want that. You just saw what he does. He goes a one thousand pound car. He spends five hundred on it, on it, and he fucks you over. And you don't want that. You really don't just. just uh, so just subscribe and you to avoid that. I've been Ranger Comic, you've been great, I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.